a journalist on board of the helicopter that tragically crashed into New York's East River on March 11 recorded a smiling video of himself and other passengers before the deadly accident. See it here. So sad. Trevor Cadigan, 26, one of the five passengers who drowned when a helicopter crashed into New York's East River on March 11, captured his excitement in a video he recorded while taking off on the deadly flight. In the video, two other passengers can be seen sitting in back of a smiling Trevor, including his friend Brian McDaniel, 26, who gives a thumbs up before Trevor turns the camera around to capture his view when the helicopter lifts up off the helipad, see video below. It was just a few minutes later that the helicopter came crashing down into the river after circling the Statue of Liberty at sunset. Among the six passengers on the helicopter, the pilot, Richard Vance, 33, was the only one to make it out of the river alive, according to TMZ. In addition to Trevor, who was a journalist and Brian, who was a Dallas firefighter, the other passengers who died in the crash were 29-year-old Carla Vallejos Blanco, who was a tourist from Argentina, and helicopter employees, Daniel Thompson, 34, and Tristan Hill, 29. Brian was visiting Trevor who moved to New York in October to pursue an internship at Business Insider, the outlet reported. They both went to Bishop Lynch High School together in Texas before Trevor earned a journalism degree from Southern Methodist University and Brian started working for the Dallas Fire Rescue Department. After rescue teams arrived at the scene of the crash, Richard spoke with authorities and said he thinks the cause of the helicopter failure was due to a passenger's piece of luggage hitting the emergency fuel shut-off button a senior law enforcement official said to CNN. Although divers rushed to try and save the passengers, it took a long time to pull their bodies out of the water because they were strapped in special harnesses that allowed them to take photos of their view from the helicopter while the doors were open. The National Transportation Safety Board is still investigating the official cause of the crash. Our healing wishes go out to all the victims' families and friends during this terrible time.